Hello everyone, welcome back to Trailmakers and somewhat of a different video actually today because I'm not just building anything special, I'm actually making a tutorial because I've seen a lot of people build uh, dragons and birds and stuff but most of them use uh, rockets and thrusters for propulsion which I think is kind of boring so today I'll teach you guys how to make an ornithopter which basically is a kind of plane that uh, instead of using thrusters it just uses uh, the flapping of its wings to create thrusts basically and uh, it's much easier than most people think so that's what I'm doing today so of course with all DreamWorks build essentially you want a seat it doesn't really matter which one you could you could go for any of these to be honest I'm just gonna go with this because it's the lightest then I'm gonna build out somewhat of a body just having something to build everything up on. By the way, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. But back to the video. And then I'll go to mechanic and I'll choose my rotating servos. And these are very important because they're basically what makes your vehicle fly. And you want to set uh, uh, one of them to speed 2, one of them to negative speed 2. So I'll set this one to negative speed 2. Just like that. And then uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'll add some aerodynamics so I can add some more servos. And uh, in this video I'm gonna call these two the twisting servos and the other two the flapping servos just so you know which one I'm talking about. So now I'm adding the flapping servos which go here and what you want to do is uh, if there's a negative one on this side or I'll make this positive just so it's easier to remember the right is positive and then the left is negative. If uh, the one if this is positive you want this to be negative and uh, same thing on the other side so I'll do that one negative and on this side, this is negative, and this will, pos will be positive. What you want to do after that is you want to grab some uh, or logic gates, which can be found right in the logic section, which is logical. Then you want to go ahead and uh, select half of them. I, I like doing it in this pattern, which you will understand why in a second. And then you select and you have your thrust uh, uh, key binder choosing I'll choose base and the positive one and then half of them will have the negative one Then you want to go ahead and pick these two thrust uh, logic gates and you want to connect them to the twisting servos which are right here and uh, These two you will connect to the flapping servos Then what you want to do is you want to select all you want to do Duration 0.3 and pause 0.3 And after that is finished you want to go ahead and take your twisting servo ones and you want to put uh, the positive one on a 0.15 delay and You want to put the negative one on a 0.45 delay and then uh, On your flapping servos right here. You want to put the positive one on zero delay and the negative one on point 0.3 of delay and I'll just make a stand so it's easier for you guys to see what I'm talking about but if we uh, do something like this and I'll play some blocks just so you can see the motion in action if you do this this creates a pretty good flapping motion so if you do right like this you'll get the, this kind of motion which looks good and uh, what you want to do now is probably add some wings so it can actually fly. Now this probably works with regular wings but I love using the sail instead of normal wings because they're just easier to work with and you have a lot more freedom and leeway with them compared to the wings. Uh, so I'll do something like this. This should create enough thrust for this vehicle and then now after that I want to make some uh, controls so 
I'm gonna do some staying hinges in the back, like this. Put the um, SW maybe 20 degrees, no steering help. And I'll put some aerodynamic blocks to connect to here. Then I'll just add some tail fins. So something like this. Uh, your tail isn't as important on an on ornithopter as a plane, but you still want to have something creating drag in the back. Then you want, if you want to add roll, you can either just go with a gyro, or you can do this, which uh, you take this, uh, connect it here, and you go A and D on this one. Then you take this, you instead of A and D, you go D and A, and then you connect it to this one. And this, if I didn't mess it up, should create roll. Whoops. I forgot an important aspect of that. You gotta set the output of them to like 0.3. And as you can see, uh, this is reversed. Which is very easy to fix. You just reverse the button inputs right here. And now, yep, that's roll in both directions. So this is D and this is A, which is perfect. Good. And uh, what I'm going to do now, which is, you don't have to do, but I like having it j just because it makes taking off easier, is some landing gear. Uh, I like using suspension on my landing gear. Uh, I just think it makes it better. You can go with whatever type of landing. You can just go with a block or some wheels. Doesn't really matter. I think I'll go with some uh, go-kart wheels for this. And then if you want to be fancy you can add a distance sensor for this and you can put it like at like seven meters and inward trigger and you connect it to this and then you put take this these steering hinges you put them on 90 degrees remove the control and the steering help and what this is going to do is if this doesn't uh, sensor the ground uh, it will uh, activate these so the landing gear will fold up which is nice to have so now if we test this as you can see it flies and uh, I I just think this looks so much cooler than having thrusters and as you can see it's really easy to do as well and this is this is great uh, it can fly it can go directly upwards if you want it to Something like this. I think the roll. I think I, I'm gonna uh, make the roll a bit uh, stronger. But like this works great. To be honest, I can fly upside down if I want to. I can just kind of do whatever, and it's so much easier than people think. And if I'm gonna go in for a landing here, hopefully the landing gear will fold out nicely. As you can see, the landing gear folded out, and I landed smoothly. So, another thing you can do if you want to, you can add some uh, fins right here. They're just gonna create some stability overall. And you can do whatever with this. You can do it, make it into a dragon, or a bird, or a bat, or whatever. It just works. And I'm just probably just gonna add some... Just a tiny bit of aer oh, whoops. aerodynamics right here, and then I can just do this, and I can make the roll like 0.4 instead, and now I have stronger roll. And as you can see, this still works. I can still fly completely fine. I have roll, I have pitch, and uh, I'm really happy with this. Uh, as you can see, if I actually going for landing. Just, oop, I just landed my landing gear. So, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And this has been Wemplar, and I'll see you again next time. Peace out.